I was really looking forward to tonight because tonight we're talking about a neighborhood inventory strategy that is going to blow your mind. I promise. If you're just implementing half of what I'm telling you tonight, I promise you're going to see leads coming in. So if you're hopping on, say hi, wave hello, drop me a comment. So I'm not, you know, the crazy person talking to the screen because it's it's a little weird, <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get our slides for this evening pulled up. And there is a ton of information happening. So I really, really hope that you are having a pen and paper because we're going to be talking a lot tonight about some really cool stuff. I think it's definitely going to change your mind, uh, change your business in a certain way that is going to be phenomenal. So, because tonight, another tactic for you to implement, and this one you can implement immediately. Tonight's strategy, we're going to talk about the neighborhood inventory marketing on steroids. And when I first started to put it together, there was a little bit of a twist to it at first, and then it turned into something completely different because, well, I'll tell you along the way. So, but what we want to make sure is that we are knowing all about the current market inside our neighborhoods to better serve our clients and build our pipeline fast. Okay, so that is really um, the pipeline building. It kind of stuck out to me and I said, you know what, I want to focus on that and I want to over deliver for you a strategy that is just so simple that it's, you know, it's, it's super easy to do right this second. And that's what we're going to talk about. And if you are staying with me through the end, I will show you how to get your hands on that exact code that makes your website invincible. Because as of right now, most websites out there are pretty mediocre. And we want to go tonight from old school and mediocre and, you know, just boring to next level marketing. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I haven't done that before. Sound good? Let me know if you're ready for this and we're gonna dive right in. Let me ask you this. Should I really buy in this neighborhood? Have you heard anything about this neighborhood? Um, who lives in here? Can you tell me something about it? Can I really trust the opinions about this neighborhood? Um, what if I decide to sell? How much can I get? What if I decide to rent? What's the current rental price? Hey, I'm looking for a rental. Have you heard? any of these questions asked on social media before? Let me know in the comments, just drop it down below. Have you ever heard somebody ask any of those questions? Because chances are you did, right? I mean, I come across posts and generally there's somebody saying, hey, I'm a realtor or there's clients tagging, you know, their real estate professional and be like, oh my gosh, she's the best. So the questions are out there. And tonight, I thought, why not talk about how we are responding? So give me about 20 minutes, and I will show you how to create a current list of inventory that will update itself and help you build your neighborhood influence along with it, right? Yes, Elena is saying all the time, I'm with you. I see those posts, and then I'm like, always, I need to respond better. And then I started implementing it, and it's been phenomenal. But we're going to get there. So... People are often needing to make a decision, right? Should they buy? Should they rent? Should they sell their house? Would it make more sense to rent it out and hold it as an investment? Choices, choices, choices. And I'm honestly like, I'm not that great of making choices to start with. But if I have to, you know, turn to something, like I will see if I can get an opinion somewhere. And that opinion oftentimes is, you know, something that total strangers give you on social media. Hey, looking to rent in that area. How is it in the neighborhood? Oh, tons of kids, great school, or, you know, tons of police, always trouble. <laughs> Whatever it is, you turn for that opinion online. And first off, choices, 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 because let's talk about what we do. We are there to help our clients make some of those 
decisions. They are asking those questions and we're there to show them exactly what they need to ask, the que which questions they need to ask for. We're there to help them find the answers or we're there to provide the answers. So what do we do? We are there to help, support, advise and guide. And people, let me tell you, this is exactly, can we just all agree on this? This is exactly why we are worth our full commission. We are doing so much. I mean, so much more than just let me open that door for you. And people need to understand there is more than we do than just, you know, here's a house, you should go buy it. Can I get an amen for that? I'm like, I feel like I've been talking to a lot of people and they're like, well, you know, they don't want to pay the commission. It's like, fine. But you will need to realize what we're here for. We are there to help, support, advise, and guide them in this entire decision making, right? So you are worth your full commission when you're offering that guidance, when you're offering the advice, when you're offering the help, and when you're offering the support. So that I wanted to get out of the way first tonight. So let's keep going because I really want to dive into what we're going to dive into tonight, which is your website. Your website. Most of us have a website, right? I got a website. Do you have a website? Let me know if you have a website because most of us do. Most of us real estate agents have something that we claim to be, you know, our, our own domain, our own little corner of the web. And with that, let me ask you a second question. If you have a website, does your website have a search option? Do you have a way to search for specific properties online on your website? Let me know that in the comments too. Can you just go ahead and say, hey, I want to find all the single family homes in your town zip code. Can you do that with your website? Because most of our websites, they are built in with an IDX function and they surely can do all of those amazing things, right? We're going to take it one step further tonight because the website that we are given by our brokerage sometimes doesn't come with enough training. And this is really what we're going to do tonight. We're going to see what your website can do. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a screenshot of my website. So my website right here, this is kind of how like the search function looks. Um, I do have a lot of fields. Let's see if my highlighter works. I think it does. we got the area. We got a price point I can specify. Um, how many beds I'm looking for, how many bathrooms. I can, you know, determine the square footage, the lot size, the year built. I could determine the subdivision, certain keywords, schools. I have the option to say adult community. And here over on that side, there's a lot of other, you know, options I can select as well. So I got property type, listing type. So I could probably pull together a list of only the foreclosures or bank owned properties. I could pull together a list of only short sales. I could pull together a list of rentals and then property features. So chances are your website has some sort of capability. And when I started out building this tonight um, for tonight, at first I wanted to focus on, you know, what happens if you get the, the low hanging fruit of like, hey, looking for an area rental, right? We see those kind of posts online so many times, like so many times, right? And when we see those posts, what we want to do is naturally respond, hey, I, I can help you find something. I'm going to tell you tonight that there is such a better, better, better way to do this. So much better. So here is one of the things we're going to focus on tonight. So let's assume for this, we are going to go ahead and we had somebody say, hey, I'm looking for a rental. All right, great. We can then first off filter for any of the rental properties on your website for that town. Okay. So now you're not just saying, hey, I have a rental listing, go check it out here. Now we're saying, 
yeah, I can provide her with an entire list of available rentals that are in that town by just doing, you know, two more button searches. So far, so good, right? So we're going to select that. And what happens next is when you go in there and you're specifying, hey, I only want rentals in that town, it generates you a certain link, right? That link now is list, uh, linked to, I'm looking for rentals in that town. And here are the results. Now, personally, for example, my website here returned 12 homes. And from there, they are currently organized from highest to lowest. So we want to make sure that, you know, it's, it's relevant. So I don't know if I necessarily want to go from low to high on, on a rental search, but I could also probably sort it by newest. Um, if I'm looking for, you know, one of my favorite search filters is just newest because chances are if they've looked a little bit, they've seen the ones that have been around for a while. So why not filter for newest, providing them with the most up-to-date, right? The nice thing is once you change this one here, you're going to have a new link that is pulling that search up. So instead of saying, yes, I have one listing, here is a link, go check it out, that link becomes obsolete the minute you are done with your rental search, right? The minute that thing is rented or that thing is sold, you're trying to use that link again, it's going to give you a 404 error code, which really is not fun to look at. So this is a live link. A live link in your marketing efforts is going to be much more efficient. So let's say somebody's looking for that, you know, rental and you provide them with that live link. That one that let's go back. I just showed you up here. That one is going to give them what they're looking for for such a longer amount of time. And it's going to go get them onto your website, right? So that's the first thing. So this is a great way to respond. And I think I have a um, an example in here that I want to show you in a minute. So a life link in your marketing efforts can make them so much more effective. There's so much like longer living if you have a life link as opposed to just here is a property or yes, I'm a realtor, right? You can use that life link then not only on any of the Facebook groups, you can use it in the neighborhood sites. You can put it on your email list if you're very targeted and say, hey, if you're looking for you know rentals and only the subdivision, here's an up-to-date list that I keep up to date at all times to know what is there. Even if you just want to see what you can potentially get for your home if you decide to rent it out. This right there, my friends, is valuable to people. People love to figure out, okay, well, if I was to rent it out, how much is it? How does it compare to my current mortgage payment? Would it make sense? Maybe I want to have it for retirement. There's a lot of value in that, okay? And of course, you can also use it then for print marketing. And this is a little bit, you know, you, you need to make it look a little bit nicer than what that link looked like, but it's totally possible to also use that live link in your marketing efforts via print. So the reason I started talking about rentals right now first is because they're an amazing pipeline builder. Um, I referred to them earlier as the low hanging fruit. It is just really, really easy to convert those people by getting them the information they need as quickly as possible. And my personal opinion, it is super helpful if you are new to an area and you are starting out with really no business at all. This is something that you can do right now to just quickly gain traction. Okay. So here's the example I talked about. I found this one on one of the sites I'm on looking for a recommendation for a realtor who would be willing to help us find a new rental home around the Schaumburg area. So what if you responded with, if you're looking in zip code, enter your zip code here, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, you can access all area rentals available instantly here. And then you drop that live link, okay? Now the person that posted that, that's valuable to them. But what else? Everybody that comments 
that's going to be valuable to them if they're looking. There's a lot of people interacting with the same kind of post that have the same kind of, um, you know, objective. They're like, oh, I've been, we've been looking too, or hey, we're renting out our house. This live link now will become something that you are driving everybody to. You're driving everybody to that traffic. Now, this is going to be happening the minute you post it. And that's happening the minute somebody com comments on that post, bumps it back up, other people are going to see it, other people are going to click on your link. It becomes a much longer living marketing tool for you to use. Does it make sense so far? I know there's like a ton of stuff that you can utilize your website from. So I figured we'll start off easy. So if this makes sense, give me a thumbs up. Let me make sure everything is good on this one. And then... We're going to go ahead and we're going to dive right in to the next part because we're going to take it one step further. So if so far, and I know we haven't talked that much, you know, what, 20 minutes in. If this is all you need, then this is all you need. You can take what I just told you and you can just go ahead and you can just do it. But if you are ready to take it just one step further, just a little bit further, hang on. I got something even better coming for you, okay? So ninja trick, totally telling you one of the ninja tricks that I have set up on my personal website. And I wanna share this with you because I think it's really something that is not talked about enough. And I think that it's really made up more complicated than it needs to be. So what if you combine your website marketing with a tracking code? because then your ad delivery will be optimized. Now, there was a lot of stuff just in this sentence, but let's break it down. If you combine your website marketing, right? We just had somebody that we drove traffic to our website. Hey, I'm looking for a rental. No problem, here's an entire list. Website marketing, right there, right? Now, what if we combined this and made sure we had a tracking code to make sure now we have a way to figure out, hey, that person actually did do something. And what if we decided maybe we should run an ad? And yes, I get it. There's a lot of moving parts that I just talked about, but I'm going to break it down and I'm going to break it down so simply that I really, really, really think it is going to be super understandable for everybody. So have you heard about the Facebook pixel? Chances are you have. Let me know in the comments, have you heard about the Facebook pixel? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to read you the definition real quick. The Facebook pixel is code that you place on your website. It collects data that helps you track conversions from Facebook ads, optimize ads, build targeted audiences for future ads, and remarket to people who've already taken some kind of action on your website. That's the important part right there. Remarket to people who already taken some kind of action. They already visited our site, right? They already raised your hand. Hi, I have a need in real estate. And this is the important person that we want to talk to. Now, I totally get it. You might be saying, oh my gosh, I have no idea what's a code and how do you do it? And this is all too much. I don't want to deal with it. I get that. I totally get that feeling of overwhelm when something new comes your way. But again, stay with me for just one second. We have our initial post, right? Hey, looking for an area rental. Now, from there, we're saying, hey, awesome. I have an entire list that you should check out of all available ones right here. Now we're driving traffic. In a traditional sense, this is where it ends, right? We just have somebody that then clicks. Maybe they're going to register on our website. Maybe they're just going to leave, right? Um, for a while, I had my website set to, hey, you want to browse some you know, properties? You can browse one. And then by the second one, you have to register. Now, what if I don't have to have them register anymore, right? This is where the traditional website marketing philosophy ended prior to Facebook making it so ridiculous easy for us. 
Now, what if we're just adding this little thing that they call a pixel? And I promise, I promise you, it is not something super complicated. What if we just added that little pixel code for tracking? Now we know, hey, you were on my website because I tracked you, right? What happens next? What happens next is the world of opportunity. What happens next is the fact that you now have the opportunity to remarket to an entire audience. It doesn't have to be complicated. We're not looking to make sure, did they do this on our website? Did they do that? No, we just want to make sure, did they go there? Did they follow the breadcrumbs we've been sowing? You know, like we've been dropping. Are they following that trail? Because if they are, there's a huge opportunity for us. So from that post we see, we want to make sure we A, provide them something of more value than, hey, I'm a realtor, let me reach out to you. Or, hey, there is this one property I have that is going to be not valid the minute I rent it out or the minute I sell it. We want to make sure we provide them with something of so much value that they are going to be like, oh my gosh, an entire list of something that I like? Let me go there. So this one is what we call like a giant, giant hook, right? And we just want to hook them be like, this is what I got. Come on over. And they will. The people that are ready, they will come over. And then from there, everything else that can happen moving forward is to just really warm up that audience to you, get them to know you, like you, and trust you. Okay, so we're going to build your online pool with that. And when I'm saying, you know, it doesn't have to be complicated, I really mean it. This is a way that is just so simple that we can make so simple for you that you don't have to overthink it. Did this make sense? Are we good on this? You guys are, you know, do you already have a pixel installed or have you thought about making one? Let me know. I'm curious to know where everybody's at on this one. Real quick, if you're brand new to the group, I know I approved a couple of new people. My name is Janine Sasso. I'm an active realtor and team leader. I do run a six-figure real estate business. I'm a hyper-local marketing machine, the founder of the um, hyper-local real estate agent. Welcome to the group. And I personally built my business with zero fee uh, sphere. And I am a busy mom of two little kids. Um, well, one is doing e-learning, so not so little anymore. And I know that time constraints are no joke. So let me ask you this then, what to do next? Take the information and you can just go ahead and do it on your own. You can come up with probably some similar results to it, or I have an amazing offer for you tonight. I have been working all weekend long to figure out how can I package something. And I came up with the pixel course for real estate agents. You can get all the information on it at www.bit.ly forward slash pixel course. It is a self-guided course to help you build your pipeline for years to come and offer you ideas beyond the rentals we just you know used for an ex uh, example. You can learn how to target new construction, pool homes, ranches. There is so much opportunity and I will make sure that we are diving into a lot of the different ways to utilize it to make sense for you and your market, all right? So again, real quick on what's all in there, we're gonna help you create a business manager if you don't have one already. We're gonna um, have a video in there that shows you exactly how to create that pixel. We're gonna make sure that we are also installing a pixel tracker so you know it's working at all times, okay? There's nothing worse than us doing all that work and then you don't even know if it's working. So we wanna make sure we have a way to verify it's working at all times. And it's not just working for your own site, you're gonna start seeing it working on other sites. You get to see who's actually having a pixel of some sort set up. It's gonna show you how to create a custom audience for your pixel. We're gonna learn how to drive massive traffic to your website because that's where it needs to start. And we're gonna learn actionable ideas for different niches to implement immediately. So if you're saying, you know what, I wanna go after the new construction homes, then there is going to be something in there for you, okay? If you're saying, hey, my area is really big in a retirement community, 
we want to learn how to drive only people to 55. Again, the only thing that is required is that your website needs to have some sort of search function where you can drill down a little bit more. But again, most of us do have it. If you're not sure if your website would be a fit, please, 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 please make sure you send me your website first. Okay, I hate for you to have a website and then say, oh, I can use it. I can guarantee you 99% of the websites are going to be just fine with it. But if you have, for whatever reason, any doubt in your mind that your website might not be a fit or you're not sure, you want me to look at it, send me a website. I will gladly look at it, okay? So I will be launching the Pixel course September 1st. 2020, which is like, I don't know, eight days away, I think right now. So I want to make sure that I brought it out to the group first. I wanted to make sure that you guys have the opportunity to see what's all in it, because it is going to be amazing when it comes time to just utilize that website that we were given and nobody does anything with it. I mean, it's just really kind of crazy to think about why do we even have it? What is it for? And I see it's just so underutilized that I want to make sure I'll give you with something that you can do, even if you're just creating traffic to it for the list. You can just use everything I just told you in the first 20 minutes of this training and just use that part of it. If you're ready, however, to do a little bit more, you know, if you're ready to maybe consider using it on a pixel perspective, if you're ready to maybe spend that, you know, dollar a day to run some sort of advertisement to just get your face in front of the same people over and over and over, you may want to check it out. www.bit.ly forward slash pixel course is where you can get more details. And here is where it's going to be. The course itself will sell for $97. I'm not going to make it super expensive because as you know, my job here in this group is to make sure that you succeed. My mission is for real estate agents to succeed. I am not looking to spend, I don't know, I mean, $1,000 for courses, that's great, but you know, not everybody has that. And it's really, it needs to be so, so, so simple that I want you to have the access to it. But I wanted to make sure that you have the opportunity right now to just dive in, get it all set up properly, because once your website is becoming this traffic magnet, that you're utilizing, then you have an amazing pool of people that are just saying, I have a real estate need. I want something to do with real estate. I'm looking for this. And those are the people we want you to warm up to. Even if it just, you know, even if you just put an ad out there afterwards saying open house and you invite them personally, get them to know you, get them face to face with you, use it to just put a dollar a day ad behind it and say, Hey, you're going to do a dollar a day and you're going to use the people that visited my website. That's all you got to do. You don't have to go out hunting for a million different people out there. Why not use the people that already raised their hand? So that's it for tonight. Again, you can get more on the details of um, the Pixel course for real estate, where we're going to be working on taking your website from boring and old school really into a lead generation machine. That's the goal right here. Boring an old school website that doesn't do much other than, you know, be taking up space on your business card and nobody goes there anyways. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to make sure it becomes something that you can utilize in today's day and age marketing. Okay. Because we need to do other things. Um, I think I have the course outline already up on that site. So if you want to go and, you know, find out what the course curriculum will entail, really get your marketing online dialed in so you can see where the power of tracking comes from. Hope this was helpful tonight and let me know if there's any other questions. Until then, I think we're all good and done for tonight. I'm going to go back through the questions if there are any and I will talk to you guys sometime this, uh, this week. Talk soon, guys. Bye.